I am so excited about today's tutorial video, which is all about how to create short videos for all of your social media networks. So are you ready? Hey entrepreneurs, it's Salma Jafri. I'm a video content strategist and you are in the right place if you want to grow your personal brand with video. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button and the bell icon next to it if you want to be the first to know when I upload a new video. So we're talking all about how to create social videos today that you can use on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, LinkedIn, blogs, your website, wherever you need to put short videos on because you know the power of video. Now on my YouTube channel, the last video that that I created was called how to promote YouTube videos on social media networks. And in that video, go watch it by the way, if you haven't yet, but in that video, I talked about my strategy for creating videos on all of these social media platforms, short videos without starting from scratch. And also I mentioned the software that I use to create these videos, which is wave.video. So in today's tutorial video, I'm going to be showing you all the steps in how I create short social videos using wave.video. So the first thing you want to do is type in wave.video, which will take you to the interface. All right. And go ahead and sign up here. Wave does have a free trial with, uh, options that you can use. And it's perfect for trying it out for the first time to just get a feel of how you can create videos using this software. So go ahead and sign up for free using the free trial. I also have a discount code at the end of this video in case you are ready to buy or upgrade your free subscription right now. And that discount code gives you 40% off for a limited time to use wave. So if you like the software, if you like the strategy, then I would highly encourage you to be able to create a lot of video promos and teasers and advertisements using the software that you can then share all across your social media platforms to build and grow your social media influence. All right. So once you've signed in, you get to start to create a new project. So just simply create new project and you'll be taken to the screen on the left hand. So I'm going to just show you what the interface looks like, and then we'll get started with the tutorial, right? So on the left, you can see that you can select all of these formats. So wave offers over 30 different formats. So it's carousel, square, vertical, in stream, cover, horizontal, all of these formats that you can create your videos in. Then you have all of these options for using their stock library, which is, oh my God, enormous, over 200 million video clips, images, photos, and you can also upload your own images and your own videos. And the example I'm going to show you is like a hybrid. So it's like a, it's a custom looking video with stock as well as my own video uploaded. So it's really cool. Um, this is the edit uh, place, which is the timeline where you piece together and put together your storyboard and how you want things to flow. And then of course they have this great watermark option, which allows you to upload your logo that you can have your videos branded. So I've uploaded my be the media logo here. And then, um, you have the best option, which I think adds so much value to your social videos, which is music. And again, an extensive library to choose mu music clips, sound effects, audio, all of that, which really seals the deal with a great looking and great sounding social video. And finally, you get to publish your video out and render it in whatever formats you have chosen to make that video in. So let's start with an example. I'm going to go to my edit timeline and show you a video that I made to promote, uh, a video on my YouTube channel. So on my YouTube channel, I did an interview a few days ago with Patrick Hanlon, the author of a book called Primal Branding. And I wanted to make a, a short video to promote this YouTube video. So what I did was I went into wave and I said, okay, you know what? I want to get people to know a little bit about what this interview is about, right? So what I did was I uploaded uh, let me show you. So what I did was I uploaded some clips from the interview itself. And you can see that I uploaded this clip from the video and I uploaded one of Patrick to show that here's the interview. Here's what we're talking about. Then I also uploaded the cover of the book. 
right? So I want to make sure that people have context and they understand that this is what we're talking about. So these are the three images that were custom that I wanted to show, right? And then we go back into the library. And what I did was I wanted to add images that tell a story. So the entire story was how to create a loyal following. So I went into um, videos and photos and I found this image that I wanted to show you. Let me play this out for you a little bit. So this is an image that I found in, uh, sorry, a video that I found in Waves Library about followers. So I wanted to get a sense of, you know, people following you. And so all I did was I typed in followers and I chose this particular image and there's like a lot of options that you're going to get. And the next thing that I did was I added a video of Patrick talking and then I added on the timeline a video of me talking. Right. And then I put in the book cover and said that this is the video it's coming out. So let me show you how um, Wave helps me to do all of this. Right. So what I do is I first inserted this image and it's really easy. You just basically go to add a video clip and let's say you type in um, people walking on street and I typed in slow mo to get that effect of like people walking slowly towards you right so for example here's a so something like this one right so this would be a good example of what i chose so i chose a more corporate look because i'm talking mostly to brands and corporations so that's why if you want to go for a more casual look then this could be something that you could choose and you just simply click add to put it on the timeline Right. And that's how it comes up here. And then what I love about this is all of this space to write copy in. So what you do is add text here and you simply type in your message. Let's say if you want to create a loyal following. Right. And of course, I can capitalize my I here. And if you want to write in all caps, you can do that. If you want to add a subtitle, you can do that or you can get rid of this or you can add multiple subtitles, you know, depending um, what you can also do. Let's come to fonts a little bit. So what you can do is you can upload your own colors, your own fonts. And that's exactly what I've done. So when I want to um, change the font of this, I will just go here choose more fonts and these are my uploaded fonts. So these are all of my brand fonts. Humanist is um, the sans serif font I use and Vendetta is the more fancier font I use. Um, but you can use all of these fonts. There's like a huge library of fonts that you can select from. So you can upload your own or use from their library, right? And what you can also do is you can upload your own colors. So what I've done is these are this is the purple that's part of my branding and then this is the gold that's also part of my branding so i have both of these colors and styles uploaded so i can interchange between these two so everything looks font perfect and color perfect right all right another thing that i like is that you can uh, use all of these effects to make the picture brighter or uh, dimmer depending on how your text is going to pop up on screen. So if I want to make the image a little bit darker, then I have all of these options to create a more um, contrasty effect essentially, right? So I can do that and I can also zoom into a particular part of the video. So if let's say I want to get these bits of feet <laughs> closer, then I can do that, right? And then that's how the video is going to play out. I can also alter the speed of the video. So if this is too slow for me, I can speed this up, right? And see how that goes. Maybe make people walk a little faster if I have to. Right. And then I can also change the duration of how long the text appears. So I just simply use this slider. And um, let's say that's a little bit too much. Let's say six seconds, right? So I want to make sure that I have the text up on screen long enough for people to actually be able to read it. So I just click on this little play icon here. So I don't need to see the video from 
the beginning i can just work on this clip which i like it makes editing faster that you can work on specific clips okay so that's looking good and i want to make sure that i tell you all about oh yeah one thing i want to tell you about you can also increase the text size so if you want to make this bigger you can do that and you can change the text position as well so if i wanted the text to appear here or in the center or in at the bottom left with, so you can place the text on any of these places you can also have the text appear in different ways so you can have um, for example this effect where the text comes in from the left along with this little sidebar or you can do um, a couple of other options here which is sort of swipe swipe from the bottom swipe from the right um, all of these so you can play around with how the text appears in all of these so so all of this is pretty cool and once you get started with using the software you're going to be able to see what works best for your particular video right so let's go ahead and talk about music next so what i wanted to do for this particular video was choose music that was kind of haunting because the video itself talks about building a cult following and so what i did was i typed in cult which gave me this option which was perfect for this particular I mean, this was just perfect for this video, right? So um, what you can do is play around with, I before I chose this music, I also played around with other keywords like religion and spirituality, and because that's kind of the vibe I was going for in this video. So uh, you wanna make sure that you select an emotional vibe for your video and then choose music according to that. And then go ahead and publish your video now what i did was i wanted to share this video on instagram so it's one by one square and i also wanted to share it as a story so what i did was when i convert the video to instagram well you want to make sure that the text and everything is playing in a square format so you can adjust the text you can go back to edit here you can take a look at your one by one story format and then you can change up any elements that need to be changed. Um, for example, for the 9 by 16 version of this, I remember I changed up the CTA. So this is how the CTA would roll in. Right, so much smaller text because it's a smaller graphic. And also you can see more of the book's cover in this because the cover itself was a vertical cover and so i thought this went really well together all right so once you have put the story together put your video teaser together you want to go ahead and publish in all of the formats and it's going to render your video and give you an option to download so choose the layout share download and then if there's any particular graphics that you need to pay extra for you can do that here or if you are on a plan that includes the graphics that you have chosen then you don't need to pay extra at that point so let me show you what some of the videos look like so this is the original 16 by 9 version of how the video plays out. Right, and then I want to show you the Instagram version. Just make that full screen. And finally, I want to show you the story version, which is the vertical video of how that plays out. And once you're happy with those, then you can go ahead and post them on all your social media networks. And it's just really easy to share them all out. So you can see here on my Instagram that I shared some of these videos out. So this was the one and it's got over 107 views and six comments on it because video just performs really well on any social media network or a platform. I want to know what you think is the most useful feature of Wave for you. Is it the music? 
Is it the extensive video and photo library? Is it the cool text effects or the ability to brand uh, your entire video with your specific fonts, colors, logos, and all of that? Tell me in the comments below. I do have an amazing discount code for if you want to use Wave to create promotional teasers, video ads, and all sorts of social videos for your brand. The promo code and my link for wave is in the description below. So definitely go ahead and check that out. You can get started with the free trial and then upgrade when you get comfortable. Remember, go after what you want and build a brand you love because you can be the media.